Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's your boy Marvin. Uh, we're going to be talking about a Ray J interview, and he gets a bit emotional over the Kim Kardashian sex tape. Uh, let's get straight into the video, and we'll comment as we go. I'm going to show you receipts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I wish they, listen, I wish they would try to, like, like, how could you strategize on that? Like, I'm so interested to see what you could actually do. Because if you did figure out a way to finagle out of the truth, I, I couldn't even, I wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would be I, impressed. Like, there ain't no way. Like, if you getting subpoenaed and gotta come in and show it's over, bro. that's it. Case closed. So, you know what I'm saying? So, look me in my eye, Chris, when you lying on the, on the uh, lie detector with your, with your lie detector thing on over your jacket that's three times as thick as, and you know what I'm saying? As the, as the leather jacket that the homie had on. Look. We know that um, they went on a show and done a Chris uh, basically done a lie detector test, which was, it just seemed fake from the outset at the end of the day. It was just a big doodah to say, look, hey, it was nothing to do with us. It was all Ray J's fault at the end of the day. And obviously, I think a lot of people know the score a lot more than say back then. He did get a lot of the blame. He did get slated by the news as well at the end of the day. But like I said, I don't think he was the instigator. Yes, he did want some money from it, but I don't think he was the instigator. I think uh, Kim's mom was at the end of the day, Chris. And uh, she doesn't want to take all the blame because it, it, it looked bad for her and the show, uh, the Kardashians. This is what I think when it was zero degrees outside in Canada. You get what I'm saying? So, it's cool. The lie detector dude you had is a fraud. Click the link in my bio. That's the dude she had to take a lie detector test to make the truth. Forget me. To, to lie on the truth. There has to be some kind of like the industry crime for that, right? Y'all tried to do Jesse like that? I did. Jesse got it. You know what I'm saying? And shout out Jesse. Gee, okay, Jesse a hard time, man. What the f like this should be twenty times worse to tell somebody twenty three, twenty two. We like the tape. We need you to go do it one more time. It sound hard. Even though y'all not together. We'll go through them. And we'll pick, we pick older one. Show Kim in a better light. Her bra was still on, and she had her, and we could slip it on that. The other one was just too raunchy. Okay. Look, we know this was, how can I put it, a little bit of a setup on all parts from Chris. Uh, basically telling Ray J what to do, telling Kim what to do. Um, she was behind it all. But like I said, she needed someone to blame to run off and say it was all Ray J's fault for putting that video out there at the end of the day. But they all got, the bottom line is they all got paid for it. And now because of that tape, uh, Kim and Chris have got millions. And, you know, apparently... Kim is a billionaire now um, from that. It did put the Kardashians on the map. It was a massive thing back in 2007. And I think Ray J, I guess, has kids and wants to clear his name. Because um, all this was all, all over the internet from a long, long time ago. And it, it's, it's been brought back up in a video I did yesterday saying, Kim, that basically there's uh, a second tape out there or... Um, a tape no one's seen. So it's got people interested again in, in what the hell is going on. I know, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Like kids, like, where the money at? Like, I'm ready to go buy a car. Like, like, just let's go. Like, I told the car dude to get, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to get the 
car real quick. I give a And then fast forward to now, like, my daughter and my son is, is like, You can really see how it's affected him that um, he's the full guy and that his kids could be watching it and they're growing up, which is understandable. But like I said, you know, he got something from, I know he's peed off, but he still was involved in it a little bit by going along with it all. He, he could have said, no, I don't want anything to do with it and signed a contract, but he, he got paid for it as well, handsomely. And they all went their own ways, but like I said, someone's gonna be the full guy and it isn't gonna be Chris or Kim. It's cool. I'm coming. I'm coming. Like, I don't give a fuck, man. Like, the only thing I can do, the only thing I'm doing this shit for is for my kids. Because if I ain't have my kids, then it's like, then, 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 then the moral values and the integrity and everything that I stand for now would just kind of be a blur. But, I, like, my daughter won't, won't ever think or know or even, like, that should be shut down way before she even understand. What's up? So daddy good. Daddy super positive. Daddy respect women. Daddy like super like loving to everybody. I respect everybody. Anybody ever been around me. Like I'm always making sure that it's good. It's always love. You know what I'm saying? I only got emotional for my kids. But listen, don't tell nobody I've seen that. I have to get out here because my mom is looking at me weird and shit. Like, yo. But anyway, that's just, just, just how I feel, man. And I love my kids, so yeah, I, this ain't this, this ain't over with. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't because I'm on the head and I'm I'm making calls and I'm letting them know I'm sending them everything I got. More shit I'm gonna show y'all too because it just don't even matter. The more y'all see, hopefully the more the judge understand it and demands they see. But I'm like, God bless. I always think that. Um with Ray J at the end of the day, if it's going to get serious where it's affecting your mental health and it's got too much, you've you sometimes got to go legal, especially if there's slandering um, your name. Um, it came back up a few months ago, and now it's come back up again. And I think, I do think, when listening to Kim yesterday, it was a little bit of an attention seeker that there's more clips um, to this video and you know it, and, and I do think it is uh, basically another publicity stunt but obviously Ray J's name is going to come up to it because he was part of it I'm out we about to go so that was the end of the video I just think it was uh, an emotional rant um, thinking that it could affect his family life um, his uh you know, like I said, kids might see it, his partner might see it, but it's a part of life. I think that sometimes you put yourself basically um, into something which is a famous rapper. She's extremely famous with her businesses and that, and a relationship and marriage to Kanye. And it will keep going on as a roller coaster um, at the end of the day. It will pass, but like I said, it makes you think what's going to come out next don't forget to subscribe to streamline uh, entertainment and tell me what you think about the ray j kim kardashian uh, saga and uh what will kim do next take care wherever you are in the world thank you bye